just first I wanted to ask you, what have you chosen Momentum as your, as your nominated charity for the year? Well, I've known about uh, Momentum ever since it started 12 years ago because um, I've always been involved with the hospital volunteering and um, one of my other jobs at the moment is uh, being chairman of the League of Friends of the Hospital. Sure. Um, but what really brought Momentum to my attention was uh, our next door neighbour, who was a single mum. She had a little girl of about five years old who got leukaemia and um, she was very ill at the time and Momentum came to help her and in fact she was one of the first mums who was helped by Momentum and I'm glad to say that her little girl got better despite being very ill and uh, she's now a, a lovely teenager just taking her A-levels um, which is good news um, but that's how I knew about Momentum and knew what a wonderful little charity it was and it's not very well known outside Kingston and I thought it was important for the Mayor of Kingston to actually pick a local charity rather than one that's very well known and perhaps a nationwide one. Sure. And in terms of uh, companies like us, we're at Genuine Institution, would you think that something like uh, that we've done today, supporting the charity, how, did, how well do you think that's... Uh... Well, it's absolutely fabulous. I mean, you've seen for yourself coming round the, the smiles on, on the children's faces, how, how grateful the parents are for everything that Momentum's doing and... Everybody who helps Momentum, and through the Mayor's Charity, you, you've helped Momentum this year, and I know in previous Mayors you've helped with their various charities as well. So, um, you know, in these times of when it's difficult to raise money, um, the generosity of, of local companies like Genuine Solutions is just fantastic. And, you know, we wouldn't be able to achieve things without your help. So we are very, very grateful. That's great. Thank you very much, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. Um, thank you for giving us your time here today. No, thank um, you. We just wanted to, just a few questions. If you could tell us a little bit about what Momentum does as a the kind of work that you do. Yeah, Momentum supports children with cancer and life limiting conditions. We first started doing it just for cancer, and then as we've sort of grown, then we do life limiting as well. So we do support within the hospital within the home and we t t try and tailor make it for every family because every family is very, very different to their needs. So we tailor make a support system for each family. Excellent. And um, in terms of what your thoughts about companies like us, companies, genuine solutions that have come in today to su support you, um, how do you think, um, that, that, does, do you think that goes a long way to help the children at all, to relieve anything? Or? I think that seeing outside companies come into a hospital and to be able to show them around and for people to be able to see a difference is what is needed, really, because there are lots of charities. Mm. And I think it's really important that people see that where money goes. And coming in at Christmas and giving presents, and especially at this stage when it's earlier than Christmas Day, yeah, yeah. is a real treat because everybody doesn't want to be here. Everybody's sure. desperately worried about being here. So it just takes away a little bit of pressure. And how do you think the presents have been received by the children so. Yeah, I mean, I think it's lovely, and no, pre no, no child would ever say no to a present. Sure. Um, you would have seen as you go around that we have quite a mixture of children here, from quite sick to um, not quite so sick. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't get a smile, it doesn't mean that they don't like it, because if you go when you've walked away, then they'll be having fun with it. So, sure. You mentioned something earlier about um, you got some work done in the hospital for free. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that, or...? Yeah, I mean, when we first started the charity, um, we didn't have any backing whatsoever. So everything that we looked for had to be done for free. So this kitchen, in fact, was done, not this one, the one before that, um, was done for completely free by John Lewis. So we had to look for everything to be done for free, really, because we had no backing. So the kitchen was done for free. Um, like the garden, we have volunteers who come in and do the garden. So when we can, we will get free help. And if it can't be free, then we try and reduce the cost sure. so that it's being minimised, really. Perfect. That's great. Thank you for your time.